peekaboo, peeka peeka peekaboo, mouse mouse goose. Sam and Daisy think they have found, the title tells us, the snow angel. I wonder if it is. This book was written by Christine Leeson, illustrated by Jane Chapman, and published by Tiger Tales. Here we go, friends. It was a bright, crisp morning when a swirl of wind woke Daisy. Mom, Sam, wake up, she squeaked. It's Christmas and it's snowing. Yippee, cheered Daisy's big brother, Sam, dancing around the nest. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, little ones, said Mom, giving them each a gift. Ooh, Daisy squealed, berries and nuts, said Sam. Thanks, Mom. Saving their presents for later, the mice rushed out to play in the snow. Have fun, Mom called. I'll find some extra bedding to make our nest cozy, and then we'll have our special Christmas dinner. Giggling, Daisy and Sam slipped and slid up the hill. Below sparkled a blanket of snow, but Daisy and Sam hardly noticed. High above was the most beautiful thing they had ever seen. Sunshine gleamed on its wings as it soared through the sky. Sam, look, whispered Daisy, it's an angel, a Christmas angel. But as the mice watched breathlessly, the angel began to flutter and fall. Oh no, cried Daisy, rushing forward as it tumbled to the ground. Quick, Sam gasped. With whiskers trembling, the mice tiptoed over the snow. The angel was lying silent and still. Its feathers shone like ice and snow crystals glittered on its wings. Oh, Sam, Daisy cried, isn't it wonderful? I don't think it looks very well, Sam replied. The snow angel spoke. Little mice, can you help me? It said. My friends and I have flown for days from a land of ice and stars, but last night I lost them in a storm. Now I'm tired and hungry and I don't know if I will ever see them again. Oh dear, we need to find food, said Daisy, but everything is frozen. everything said Sam come on and the mice raced across the meadow the snow was much deeper when the mice returned carrying their precious gifts of berries and nuts they placed them in front of the angel and watched as slowly it began to eat Daisy brushed the snowflakes from the angel's wings as it lay its head down to sleep. Do you think it will be all right, she asked. I hope so, said Sam. <clears throat> they waited by the angel's side until at last the snow stopped falling and the sunset streaked across the sky. Then the angel opened its eyes. With a sudden rush of feathers it spread its wings thank you little mice it said you have been very kind i will never forget your help the mice gasped as the angel shining gold in the evening light soared up over their heads merry christmas it called wow whispered sam Daisy held up her paws. Look, she cried, it's snowing again. 
white flakes swirled around them, but as Sam reached out and caught one, he laughed in surprise. Feathers, he shouted. The mice gathered armfuls of soft white feathers and raced back home. Mom, called Daisy, we found an angel. It gave us a present. Mom looked up from the straw she had been using to line their nest. Goose feathers, she exclaimed. We'll feel as if we're sleeping on clouds. Over Christmas dinner, Daisy and Sam told Mom all about their snow angel. Then, happy and tired, the family snuggled up on the warm bed of feathers. This was the best Christmas ever, Daisy whispered to Sam. We did see a real angel, didn't we? I'm sure we did, said Sam. And as he drifted off to sleep, he saw the feathers shining in the darkness, twinkling like stars in a frosty winter sky. I think they did find a snow angel. What do you think, friends? I miss you.